For many Jews, Poland is inextricably associated with the Holocaust and little else. So when I heard Poland was about to open up a museum telling the thousand-year history of Polish Jewish life, I decided it was time to take a fresh look. To get a better idea of how Poland has changed since the war, I went along with Dasha, a Holocaust survivor who lives in New York. For Dasha, the holiest site on our pilgrimage was her hometown of Benjin, especially the site of her grandfather's grave. It's, it's like saying goodbye for good this time. Because I don't think I will ever, no matter how much longer I live, I will live from now on, I don't think I'll ever come back here. No, that's it. That's the last. It's, nice. it's a nice place, isn't it? Our difficulty finding her grandfather's grave was making Dasha increasingly nervous. When we finally found him, her relief was palpable. In Benjin, we met Piotr and Karolina, a Polish couple who preserved their town's Jewish history. Piotr and Karolina have a special place they want Dasha to see. This apartment was once used for Jewish prayers. Piotr and Karolina rent it to keep the landlord from painting it over. They bring local students here to teach them about the Jews who once lived in their town. We believe it's so important for the for the history of Benjin, for our common history. We are non, not Jewish. We are doing it, that's what Piotrek said, because it's a part of our history. My grandparents are from Benjin, my parents are from Benjin, grand grandparents, great grandparents are from Benjin. So it's, they were, the Jews from here were neighbors of them, so. Yeah, they were building this town, they were building the houses, they, they actually built this and, uh, a city, entire city, so we uh, owe it to them, you say. Uh, this, this whole Jewish history of, 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 of Benjin, of the region, was forgotten. And this is, this is what's what I couldn't agree with. Uh, after the war it was like erased totally. And uh, and it, it was it was like a, a agreeing with uh, with Hitler that what he did he wanted it and after the war during the communism time we we continued this this policy this, this uh, we decided that it, it can't go on like that. This idea that Polish Jewish history is an essential part of Poland's own history was emphasized repeatedly at the opening of the Museum of the History of Polish Jews. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Poland and the President of the State of Israel align rest from Polish and Israeli nations at the monument to the ghetto heroes. Nie da się zrozumieć i w pełni przeżyć historii Polski bez znajomości historii Żydów Polskich. Wynika to nie tylko z wielowiekowej obecności Żydów na naszych ziemiach, ale i ze znaczenia społeczności żydowskiej w wielu, wielu dziedzinach polskiego życia, w gospodarce, w kulturze, w nauce. The Polish speech was so wonderful was so recognizing us, recognizing me. I was part of all that contribution 
that Polish Jewry made to this country. I was very proud. Yes, I was. It was wonderful. I see this museum as the face of the new Poland. This is not the post-communist period. This is the post-post-communist period. And it is really a different period. This is a period where 40% of the population is going to university. People are speaking English, they're cosmopolitan, they're educated. It's a different generation. I think it really reflects a whole new era. When I met the bishop and the priest, it was wonderful. The fact that I had a bishop putting his, his arms around me, me, a Jewish child who was always afraid of churches, who was always afraid of poles, I was. Who always, when I saw a few boys together, I was always afraid they may throw stones at me. I, would, I was told to go to the other side of the street. I, th I grew up in, in, in fears, I did. I grew up in fears of my father because he had a beard and my brothers who had payers and were Hasidic. And we were always happy to see them back home that nothing happened to them. And here is this bishop, the symbol of the church, putting his arms around me. It felt good. It really did not to be, a, just the opposite. I felt that he was happy to see me. I, 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 it felt good. Kind of mixed feelings, but it felt good. And I'm going away with a different feeling, seeing different changes. They, they're unbelievable. I'm so respectful of it. I hope, as old as I am, that I will still make another trip I don't know. The perception has changed by both the Poles and the Jews. Seeing Poland and the museum through a survivor's eyes makes it clear that hatred doesn't always have to be passed on from generation to generation. Perhaps no one is more qualified to set such an example than Poles and Jews. For Religion and Ethics Newsweekly, this is Menachem Daum.